He's uh, Will Farrell. The movie is uh, The Campaign, and Will joins us now. Will, how are you, bud? Dan, how are you? I'm pretty. I'm pretty good. Uh, I thought uh, I was very funny stuff at Wrigley last night. Uh, yeah, we uh, we got hungry. <laughs> you ordered a pizza on the mound. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we didn't have any cash on us. So, <laughs> what kind of athlete are you? Um, I would say a. Uh, I think I'm just just getting into my prime right now. Okay. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a. I'm a, I'm like a five, five, a five, five, five guy. And that is what? Five hits, five walks. And five. And five no-shows at the ballpark. What was your best sport growing up? My best sport? Uh, well, my freshman year in high school, I dominated. <laughs> um, MVP of the basketball team. Co-MVP of the football team. And, uh, and then that was, that was the end. Uh, wait, wait, you peaked at 14? I peaked at 14, yeah. Because I was six one and a half. Wait, were, were you one of those guys who hits puberty before the other guys? I was shaving when I was in fifth grade, yes. <laughs> yeah. I had a beard like Zach Alphanakis in the fifth grade, yeah. Here's some sound from uh, you guys last night. Can I, uh, can you, I'll bring back the opening lineups. Here's okay. uh, Will Ferrell last night. Batting third and playing first base. Ironically, he's not Italian. Number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Batting fifth and playing right field. He loves playing banjo and doing tricks with his pet dog, Chachi. Number six, Brian LaHare. Batting seventh and playing second base. He likes taking long walks on the beach. Completely naked. Number 15, Darwin Barney. Batting eighth and playing third base. He likes to walk on the beach with Darwin. <laughs> Luis Valbruina. Do you, now, we're being so deliberate and slow because we, we're making them up on the spot. We were literally handed that at the last second. Uh, oh, I thought it was great research on your part. No, well... <laughs> <laughs> You know that's my, my strength. I'm a great researcher. In fact, do you need a researcher over at the Olympics? I need a lot. I, I need a lot of help. When there. do you leave? Sunday. Are you bummed that you didn't get the Pan Am Games? <laughs> well, this is a stepping stone to the Pan Am Games. See, I'm all about the Pan Am Games. I could care less about the Olympics. Well, I've seen you in a Speedo before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you're quite comfortable in a Speedo. That's my... Uh, my second skin. That's yeah. your wheelhouse. Yeah. Yeah. McLovin has his speech for, uh, he's the best man. I heard about this, Okay, yeah. so I don't know. You In old school, you know, that uh, you had Luke who had his speech. He had to that, make the speech, right. Yes. Yeah, so what's the best etiquette that you can say to McLovin to help him this weekend? I would start, I would set the tone <laughs> by saying, boy, this wedding's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's your opener, okay. That's your opener. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, you get a few titters there, and then, uh, and then you know, I'd, I'd go from the heart, you know? Is it, uh, it, McLovin's the best, he's the best man. Yeah, yeah. How, how, is this a really good friend? It's his brother. Oh, it's his brother? Yeah. Yeah, I would just go to the videotape. <laughs> have you? But when you get up there, people expect you to be funny, so, right? So when have you done? And they're one of often them? sorely disappointed. <laughs> have you done yeah. one of those speeches? I've had people walk out. <laughs> no, they haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know if I've ever. Gosh, I haven't been asked to be a best man. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I've been asked to give impromptu. Um, do you know the comedian uh, Harlan Williams at all? No. Okay. Canadian guy, he asked me to actually, in the middle of his ceremony, uh, say to to the interrupt the wedding and say, um, "Carol, I miss you. I love you so much." Uh, and then he said, "This isn't Carol. Her name's Susan." <laughs> and in front of people who didn't know me at that time, I said, "Sorry, my bad." And I just sat back down. And all of his relatives from Canada are just staring at me like, "Who is that guy?" Um, Got to so know your a, audience. That's a go-to move. Yeah, you got to know your audience. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, the movie's the campaign, and um, fill me in on this. Are you uh, are you playing George Bush again, doing your uh, impersonation? No, I am. I am a. Uh, uh, I am a a philandering politician, um, Southern from the state of North Carolina. I'm, I'm more of a John Edwards type guy, mm. and uh, uh, I am the uh, the the lazy incumbent. Uh, whose whose only aspiration is to become vice president. He doesn't really, because the vice he's figured out that <laughs> vice presidents don't have to do anything. Um, uh, and he has a uh, he has a couple moral and ethical slip ups, and they decide to run something someone against him. And and that inner Zach Galifianakis character, he's an outside the beltway kind of uh, kind of country bumpkin type of guy who's from a powerful political family. So and and the games began. When's the last time you did your George Bush impersonation? I can't remember. Was it on might, Saturday Night Live? What now? Saturday Night Live? Yeah, you're right. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. Have you ever done it for him? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Would you do it if you were around him? I, I guess I would have to. I, well, I, I mean, I've been lucky. I haven't ever had to impersonate the people I've impersonated before in front of them. Um, so I, yeah, I, I, I wonder how that meeting would go. <laughs> I did my Lou Holtz impersonation <laughs> in front of Lou Holtz. And how did it go? It didn't go well. Yeah. No, yeah. it did not. It, yeah. it, 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 it didn't go well. Well, he just, um, he we, just gave you a slap on the shoulder. Oh, uh, no, no, no. He uh, told me to run a lap. <laughs> <laughs> Even that was stunned silence. Uh, yeah. uh, so the, uh, update on Anchorman two is when are we shooting? I mean, when are you shooting? Um, we, uh, not till next year. Okay, the calendar year. But it will happen next year. It will, it will ha- as long as um, Viacom doesn't fold, it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it's the same cast. Same cast. Same cast. Uh, so maybe February, mid February next year, we'll be commence filming. And I'd love to give you a, a juicy tidbit, but we're still writing the script right now. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on, give me a cookie. Uh, <laughs> uh, there, there may be an underwater city. That's all I'm going to tell you. Wow. Is that, does that wet the palate? Uh, well, you know what? Uh, eat your heart out, uh, Nancy O'Dell, because I've got an exclusive here. Billy Bush. <laughs> Billy Bush. Could you beat up Billy Bush? Easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you beat up Billy Bush? I would love to. I'd love to get in a scrap with that guy. Uh, well, good luck with the movie. Thanks, Dan. Good luck in London. Well, I'll give you a shout-out. Oh, gonna, it's going to get rained out the whole first week, right? I don't think it gets rained out. Okay. I don't think it's like a baseball game. I don't think they're going to have to play two. Can you say hello <laughs> to a lot of the female hammer throwers? Because that's my favorite event. I will. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. All right, thank you. That's uh, Will Ferrell. Movie is uh, the campaign. When's this open up? Is uh, August August tenth, I think, uh, as I get back from the uh, summer games.